Hello YouTube, it's the iMacMorris1 here, and I'm just doing a quick update on my tech cooler that's in my computer. Um, you may have seen my other video which I did make yesterday. The system has now been running for a constant 24 hours. You can see the temperature there. At idle, it's fluctuating between 8, 9, in, no, minus 8, minus 9, and minus 10 degrees. You can see at the moment there. It is running at minus 9, and I have had to do some small modifications to the system itself, as I will show you. I've insulated the motherboard using lots of Vaseline and lots of insulation foam there around the processor, because if you have a look around here, You may be able to see the white insulation foam at the back, but just in front of that, that white block is actually ice. You can see it forming on the wire there, and all the way around under the liquid cooling block. Now all of that is ice, and obviously when there's ice there's water, which won't mix with computers, so that's my insulation. All of the voltage regulators here are covered in Vaseline, I don't know if you can see that, and the back of the motherboard's all been covered in Vaseline. Um, a few people were wondering what the cooler actually is. It's a Corsair liquid cooling system, and you've got one Corsair down there, and I don't know if you can see, but there is another one on the top up there, so it's actually a dual fan system. Um, one's sucking and one's blown, um, which does help a lot, especially with the heat that the tech generates. See the system still at minus nine there. Um, like I say, it's been run for 24 hours just just for testing. You'll be able to see that by the ice build up there. Um, obviously, there is going to have to be a few further modifications, such as a drip tray, just purely for when the ice melts. There is going to have to be somewhere for the water to go. Um, and I'm going to actually add some add some more cooling to the case itself, just purely to cool the graphics card and the chipset. I'll show you the other temperatures. You can see it is getting warm in there, you've got the processor at the top there, which is running at minus 9, the hard drive, 30, the two solid state drives are at 20 and 16 degrees, motherboard 22 and GPU 32, so it is running relatively cold, um, obviously especially the processor. If anybody's got any questions, I would like to know more about Peltier and Tech Cooling, just give me a message and also check out my blog for info on how I did this. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.